this is Derrick Hayes, the entertainer, and I would like to welcome you to the 2020 Virtual International Leadership Conference. Please stay with us until the end, and we'll have a special offer for you. And you can follow me on all social media platforms and even on Cash App. Today's message is four things that tie into life development. And the four things are habits, networking, empowering others, and overcoming obstacles. Ladies and gentlemen, here is part one that deals with habits. Habits are what we do every day, right? What is going to, who, who can share some positive or, or negative habits that you see in your schools with your students and staff? Who, who, who sees some positive habits? Anybody want to share? Speak highly of your, your, your students now, or your staff. I can share. We have some students who, no matter what's going on in their lives, they show up. They show up. That's a positive. Right. For us. That's definitely a positive because kids call our life staff. You know, they, they ain't only the same skip day. Skip weeks. Skip week, right. Well, they, they, have some of the, they have some of the best excuses in the world. You know, we have a young man, you know, if he's on time, we can celebrate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one habit I have is I, I, I love to give. Because like I said, you know, people, people are in the blessing business. You know, so if you're in the blessing business, it, it, it really pays off. To, to help people, and that's one of my greatest habits. Uh, I'm, I, one of my habits is I try to do it. I'm used to doing it by myself, but sometimes you're not gonna have help. Or Miss Kimberly, where you at? Miss Lisa, she's she there. She may step out, but those are some of the people that helped me out this morning. So that was a good, a good exercise because. You don't always get help, even when you come into a workshop. You, you, you might you might be all to yourself. You know, people don't have to show up. People don't have to assist you. So, very thankful. Talking about choices. See. I gave you all a, a necktie, but there, there are opportunities where the young men have a choice, right? Not, I show them with the necktie that they have a choice. So I have a necktie you know, laid out, depending on the workshop. They line up and they get to choose what type of tie they want. Some of them choose by how they look, how they feel, the color, but I let them choose. I have a variety. And so, this program is called the Gentleman's Club. This is in Phoenix City, Alabama. And the first time I went to see them, I let them choose out their tie. Now, on this one, as you see the table has a lot of fabric on it. So this time they had a choice to choose what type of fabric they wanted to have a tie made out of. So I custom made a bow tie for each and every one of the youth that, was, that came that day. So I wanted to teach them about choices. And I have to bring my, my measuring tape so that I can measure their neck size and I custom a tie for them. Because you gotta have a bow tie where you have the numbers on it, where even if you know your neck size, but it's nothing like a custom. It's a different feel. When you don't have to look at the number, you just put it on the tie. It's, it's, a, it's a blessing. So that's Mr. Williams. So we're talking about choice. But everybody had a choice. They chose each and every one of you chose who the workshop to go to. <coughs> now you can, you can bring a tie or you just you just watch or follow along. Now, you, with these ties, you made a choice, right? The choice was to come to whatever workshop you wanted. You can even, I've seen people work out where they look at their tie and look at somebody else's tie and trade them. <laughs> no, but 
when we talk about habits, we talk about choices. You're based on your habits, that determine who's gonna be there. Right here, I call this the support right here. Because in life, the things you do is gonna determine who's gonna support you. Thank you for staying in the game. And if you go all the way with this, you can receive an eight by 11 personalized Derek name with your name like this one and you can print it out into a frame just like this one. Hope to see you soon. And here's part two that deals with networking. Because in life, it's about relationships. What are the odds, if you never met me before, what are the odds of me being slim and none? But I believe in the power of networking. Because a friend of mine had a business award show in Phoenix, Arizona. And he said, Derek, would you come out to the award show? But at that moment, I felt like I wasn't. Have you ever seen an opportunity that you felt like you weren't ready for it? And because I said no, it made me even better. But at the same time, I was emailing people all over Arizona. I was emailing people all over Phoenix, all over you know, school districts all over the community. So, if you look around here, there's a, there's a hundred plus people in this room, right? In life, all you need is one, right? Out of about 300 emails, one person answered. The B is for bio, right? How many of you have a bio? Three or four? I highly suggest everyone write a bio of their life. It can be short or it can be long. The bio is simply who, what, where, when, and why. You're just telling your story who you are, what you do. Earlier you started to talk. Who you are, what you do, when you've done it, why you do it, where you're located. But if you want to, if you want to grow in, in your organization or grow in your life, how many of you, how many of you in here have written a book? So we have room to grow. How many of you have written an article? Okay. How many of you have, uh, how many of you write a column for a newspaper or a magazine? So there's a lot of room for growth because you can write for publications right now. You can start with your school newsletter. You can start with your local newspaper. Whatever industry you're in, there's an organization that has a publication. But when you write your article and send them in, they're going to ask for your Bible. And that can be a short. Everybody know what a resource box is? Like on the bottom of the article? Start writing your, uh, your Bible. It's really important for jobs. It's important for business opportunities. It's used for understanding your gifts. Now, does anyone here, I shared one of my gifts with you. Does anyone in here have a unique gift? A talent? Anything they're good at? Yes, sir. Juggle. You juggle? Mm -hmm. Did you bring it up? No. Okay. Anyone? <laughs> but that's good enough. Because I may, if I come back in time and, and I'm speaking at an event, I may ask you to open up for it. And then he may know somebody, he may, I may open up for him. But because we networking though, right? These opportunities are possible. Uh, just yesterday, I was on a show called Good News Arizona. And there's a positive podcast. And because I was networking, when I came to town, they interviewed me. The I, introduce yourself. Everyone introduce yourself there. Was there anyone here? from someone in the room that they would like to meet after they heard them introduce themselves. Did anybody here, raise your hand if you heard somebody or somebody in the industry, because it's important to know who's in the room. The L, and learn from others. Does anyone have a mentor? Anyone have a mentee? How you treat people with a determinant if you get to connect with the elite people, how you treat people will determine you get to work with the elite people. 
Because, for example, there's a young man named Brandon. And Brandon is a model. He just recently moved to New York. And I know people in New York because of my blog. You know, because when you interview people, you, when you uh, promote people and feature people, you start to develop relationships in different parts of the country, in different parts of the world. But my, my network is open because I realize they'll burn that bridge before I will. So I'm not afraid to open the door for someone. And so Brandon started connecting with people in New York. And then when I was with my, had my ties, I was like, hey, Brandon, hey, you know anybody that wears a bow tie? And at first he didn't. Then he said, well, I know a guy in Atlanta. He named Clay James. And so Clay James is a performer that wears a bow tie. And so I sent, I, I got Clay's uh, next side. I sent all my 15 and just sent them to Clay. And I said, Clay, if you get this package, and you wear one of my ties, just tag me, social media. He didn't have to do it, but guess what he did? As soon as he opened up the package, he said, oh, I love these ties. You all need to contact this guy. And he had 40,000 followers on Instagram. He's about to go on tour. He do videos. So he's gonna, because I treated somebody else right, I'm being treated right. The D, develop friendship. Is anyone in here with a friend? All of them? Hey, Bobby. Okay, that's good. Anybody else over here with a friend? Okay, that's good. You got to develop You got to develop friendships. You got to have a bio. Understand your gifts. Introduce yourself. Learn from others. Develop friendship. It's great to see you again. Keep listening and learning until the end, and you can receive a copy of this ebook, Motivational Speaker 101. And here's part three that helps you empower others. Everybody don't have the same resources you got. But if you work hard, right? Some people have more than that time. Some people gotta spend the, spend the extra room, spend the extra hour. Now, at the beginning, I said, what life? Oh, be confident. You got championships to win. What life? E life. All right. That's the EA. The G is for gifts, right? Everybody has unique gifts. Uh, when I, I mentioned hip hop, when I was a young person and it ran to them, do they still use the word smash? Yeah. They still say smash and run? Yeah. And where I grew up, if you couldn't, if you couldn't smash, if you couldn't play the dozen, you would sound in the corner. Because it was, it, was it was for blood, right? It was for, it was for everything. Like, if you, couldn't, if you couldn't joke with somebody, you wouldn't sat down. You would, like, if we was right here, you'd be on the field. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I had a friend, he, he used to be smooth with it. He, he'd be the first one with a camera. He'd be filming. You know, he'd be filming. <laughs> but here's what happened. Here's what happened. I learned how to do it in front of two speech, right? Because you had to think on your feet. If you was going to get the joke in, you had to think on your feet. You had to be able to talk about the guy's mom 50 times in 50 different ways. Back then, we looked at it like it was negative, right? But it taught us to be positive skills. So I was able to go to Toastmasters, right? I was able to speak at schools and corporations because of the skills I learned right here in these streets. Anybody know where Harvard Drive is? Down by Pleasant Acres? That's where I grew up. And you know there's a field back there, right? When, when, we were, when we were young in elementary school, that's where the field day was. Everybody in the city went to Pleasant Lake, you remember? Everybody in the city went to the field day. And my vision was, I'm going to win. But guess what? The blue ribbon came on to me. I let that field walk right down the sidewalk and right to the house. Because I, I knew if I worked that, I could make it happen. Now, like I mentioned, Hip hop, writing, improv, two speaking, to develop these gifts. So wherever I go, my talent from here is all over the world. So what I did was I asked Coach. I said, Coach, give me all the names of all the all the all the athletes on your, your track team. I'm gonna do something special for them. So what I did was I turned everybody's name into a positive message. First one up is Angelo. Where you at? Angelo is activating new gifts to expect. Lots of opportunity. Angelo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, thank you. And it is a Miss 
prepare, coach is pop. Does everybody know Mr. Tech? Mr. Yes. Yeah. Bless. Billy. Hey, the smile on your face just put a smile on my face. And here's an offer for a copy of my ebook. One word is all it takes to build your brain. And here's part four that helps you overcome obstacles. I mean, there's still opportunities, right? Sometimes we get right here. Who remember Seattle against New England in the Super Bowl a couple years ago? What y'all line were they on? The one. They called the, they called the play, right? They should they could have ran it, but they chose to pass it, right? They took that chance. They were right there. Who's, who's ever heard of the 49ers? Do you know what the 49 San Francisco? You know what 49ers are? You know what that is? What? Gold. Who said gold? Right. And guess what? When, when everybody, listen, I'm giving you some history. When people went out west, right, they were searching for gold. And the first group that searched for the gold was right here, right? But because they didn't see the gold, they gave what? They gave up. The next group that came along got all the money, got all the accolades, got all the resources. That's who got the money. So you still got a little room. Let me say, slide it up. Slide it up. So that is it. Yeah, so you tie the tie. Tie the tie. So never quit. So never quit. quit. And in this story, you just said come around. See, coach called practice, right? They gave, and, and yeah, you had some parents here, right? They gave it a positive, this is a positive environment for us all to what? Come around. So if you practice hard and you get something, you put something in, you're gonna get some what? Something out. If that's gonna make you want to keep coming to what? Coming around. On this basketball court, right? I'm on the court. You all off the court. Always lift each other what? Uh -huh. And if you do that, your team will never be in that what? Yes. And, and look at where your game is at. Look at where your academic game is at. Look at where your athletic game is at. And always remember you have room to what? Room to grow. There's always opportunity. But look, I want to share something with you. Does anybody know what this is? Clock or what's what's the F word for it? Gravity. Right. I make ties, right? Listen, I make my own ties, but this is where it starts. Your game is raw. Who are my straight A students at? Me. No lie. Okay. Where my listen, listen. Where my where my BC students at? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Guess guess who's one of the greatest BC students ever? Me. Who said me? Right. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't take. I didn't take this part serious right here. I took this part serious, right? But guess what changed in my life? I went from a C student to a B student. You know why? I started to see what I could truly be. Because sometimes my brothers, they geniuses, and they say, "Man, why are you speaking here? You speaking there? You're not a rocket scientist." You know what I tell them? God gave me the gift to give people science that can help them rock. Because you can know all this and talk over people's heads and they don't understand you. And then you're going to wonder why you're not getting anything out of it. Well, this is fabric, right? So we, we take it from fabric to the ties, right? Because I make ties. But you got to see the levels. Like you said, you got to see growth. You got to see a vision. Like one day somebody said, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I wanted to wear a tie one day, I wanted to wear a bow tie one day. But guess what? Nobody could make it for me. Nobody had the idea that you could do it. So, so I heard the universe speak to me and it said, lay it out on paper. Lay it out, just like this. Just like I did with those, lay it out. Write down your vision, make it plain. Draw it out, so I draw two. Whatever the next size is, I draw out two of them. I glue one side, and then I paste them. Now these right here, they still gotta be trimmed, you see them? So these are raw right here. These ain't even been put in the pack. So then once you go from here to here, it's in the pack. See the, see the growth? I went from, now you know how to tie bow tie, not even one to tie tie, to tie regular tie, to tie bow tie. Now we can take the fabric from the store, we can cut them, we can design them. Even this, this is a tie made up. This is a tie created. I spoke at a basketball banquet. 
This, this, is a, this is a real ascot right here. I'll show it to you. This is a real ascot. Anybody know what this is? Anybody ever seen it before? No. It's an ascot. It's like a scarf. You wrap it and you tuck it in your shirt. It's just another, another style. But this right here goes like this. Then I put it inside my shirt. So this is, this is an original. Nobody else in the world has this right here. So this is what I call my basket ascot right here. So basketball, you know, every time I go to basketball school, everybody wants it. But there's only one in the whole wide world. So, so you're looking at levels, just like in your game, just like you're working on your right hand, you're working on your left. Thank you. And since you viewed four things that tie into life development until the end, I have a special offer for you. That includes the eight by 11 Derek Nim and the two eBooks. And to receive this, all you have to do is email me a powerful quote about my presentation with your name, city, school, or organization to info at DerekHayes.com. And once again, please follow me on all social media platforms. Take care and keep peace in your life.